another very uh, um, uh, interesting panel that's going to discuss the uh, impact of AI on the entertainment industry. So, Jay.
Those are the extremes. I think what you're going to see, though, is everything in the middle uh, is going to happen, and it's going to happen to a lot of different areas of the business at a lot of different times. This is not, it's very easy to traffic in generalities, but that's not going to be the story of AI and entertainment. And also, as new as this all is, this really is actually the classic industry story of Hollywood, which is have always been the story of innovation going back to you know the advent of sound and how the business changes does get severely impacted. This is a story of winners and losers. There will be losers, and um, but hopefully emerging and triumphing and perhaps coming back bigger and better than ever. Love that. So you all have been tracking this stuff. Do you have any data you can share? I, why, I guess I do. I think it actually <laughs> dovetails nicely, if we could queue up, dovetails nicely with what the previous speaker was talking about. This is fresh out of the data oven. Uh, we just ran this last week with uh, Harris X, one of the leading uh, surveyors out there. And we were talking about Sora, right? We First thing we wanted to know is we took uh, some of those viral clips that you saw that Sora OpenAI had put out there. We also took some stock footage clips that were made by actual humans. And the first thing we wanted to know is, can humans actually tell the difference between what is made by humans with a regular old camera and these Sora clips? And what we saw was, indeed, people struggled to tell the difference. And uh, when we randomly showed these eight clips, you can see from these results uh, that there is certainly uh, very easily confused returns in terms of what they can or can't see. Uh, can we go to the next? I want to breeze through these because I want to give everyone a chance to speak. Um, and what we also saw when we asked is people really want to see labels on this content. And we asked them across not just video, but any kind of content that could be altered, whether it was writing, sound, music, people want to see uh, labels, and it was part of a larger call for government regulation. And we can now uh, move to the next slide. Regulation in general was something that people were, we gave them a whole number of different scenarios here. There was not one particular kind of regulation that stood out from the rest. The number one was about creating accountability rules with regard to AI outputs, but we laid out this whole different range of scenarios, and you saw even across age groups, no particular uh, age group, obviously as the older types, I think, there was more of a lean towards uh, regulation, but even among the younger, there was a clear interest in that. There's concern out there. It doesn't matter whether you're 18 or 68, there is an interest in regulation. And lastly, one more slide. Obviously, there is a big concern about jobs. I mean, this is the, the strongest, clearest indication that there is an Real and look at the way the question is actually uh, framed here, where we said, you know, strong regulation could stifle innovation, and that there could possibly be more jobs that could come as a result. Still, very clear indication that there is a, uh, you know, implement strong regulations to protect jobs across the board, across all demos. By the way, the QR codes are there if you want, in case uh, we at VIP are always putting out tons of data uh, regarding AI, so make sure you queue that up. But uh, yeah, just wanted to give you a taste of 